いくぞ超次元合体大会ゾー !So, what is up, everyone? It's finally time for the DP special. This will be a four parter special with four deck profiles. So, get ready, sit back, relax, and let's get some dimensional police going with your DP player, Wolf Thunder Ranger. All the way with DP, my friends. Let's go. And our first match is against Link Joker. Alrighty. Good. So, Dai Kaiser. Finally out, right? A lot of things you can do. Alright, looking solid. I mean, draw, draw. So, a couple of cards that can draw cards. Uh, we're going to keep the field open as much as we can. Uh, the reason for... Um, give me a sec. Let me get my moin together. The reason for Die Hard is if you don't draw into Die Kaiser, uh, you do the Magnum Effect to get into Die Kaiser, so you prep for break ride. And if your opponent leaves you alone and you lose all your triggers, that's fine. I've actually had a game where I definitely needed my opponent to leave me alone so I can draw cards. I, my hand was so crap. That the fact that he stalled was the best thing that could happen to me during the match. Alright, we got one PG. I see a Go Cannon. But we're going to save that Go Cannon due to the fact that we need to get Die Brave into the drop zone to draw a card. So we keep up our plussing. So let's attack the Schwarzschild. So it's pretty much Die Kaiser versus Schwartzy. So again, we got to be careful. Like We can actually keep the opponent at 3 at the end of the day. But it depends if they'll actually give us the break ride. That's going to be the... Um, icing on the cake for this deck profile so we'll see how it goes we shall see and like i said there's gonna be also turbo yusha which i think you guys might like that version more um it's a little bit more faster but uh, i just wanted to tackle the very first build i made which was die kaiser's you know personal build so without further ado this is what we're doing and expect zeal later today you will see some zeal playing All right, we lost that. We just lost a Die Hard, but Die Hard wasn't like so important. All right, so the dude just got a heal trigger, so that is not a good. And I just got a heal trigger, so that's good. And I got another PG. Good, good, good. Give it a sec. The game's trying to pick back up for some reason. I don't know what's going on with Streamlabs sometimes. It sometimes works and then sometimes goes to straight donkey do for some reason. Alrighty. Look for that to pick back up before we do our next turn. So we're going to ride a die dragon here. With that being said, let's get another die dragon kind of prepped right there. All right, I'm actually losing momentum for my Die Kaiser. That's already two triggers gone. Yep, two triggers gone. All right, we got to be careful here. We are not running paper thin with these cards right now. So let's see how this goes. Schwartz the Child. Oi. We'll see how this goes from Mr. Schwartz. So he goes infinite zero, obviously, for the locking. Nothing, nothing too personal there. Uh, limiting field is a good thing. Um, the more he pushes, the better. Uh, we'll see how that goes. I think he wouldn't even give me break right unless he had the PGs to support it. Let's see what he's got on this turn. Sometimes if you break right Die Kaiser onto Die Kaiser, again, there's some more positives here and there for that type of play. All right, so he lost a PG, so he won't be seeing that for a while. That's good news. Good news for me, bad news for him. Still haven't been able to actually draw some more cards, so that's not helping. Don't feel like wasting my Mika. Well, now I have a break ride target, so there's no way I'm getting rid of that. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. All right, now let's get back to the match here. Uh, I'm not going to waste Mika right now because I'd like to get my plussing in uh, with Mika right there, so we'll try to give that edge. Wow, perfect heal, man. Good job. That's an absolute perfection there. So if he gives me three damage, I'm going to draw two cards because I got a Die Brave in the Soul. Die Brave. 
uh, going to drop, lets you draw cards, and you get to do certain plays, which is good too. So that's what we're hoping for in this matchup. So let's take the first hit here. Yeah, I gotta restart the uh, Streamlabs after this match so we don't lose uh, sighting of how this match is going because this match is something you gotta be watching because it's a very important match to see how the RNG benefits you. So give it a sec. Give it a sec. I always try to wait for it to kind of pick back up. Like I said, I'm gonna restart uh, the Streamlabs so you don't get these lag frames anymore, but I'm already too far into this match that we have to show you everything for Die Kaiser, so on and so forth. So now it's my turn, please. All right, now I got a connection problem. All right, reconnecting, please and thank you. So I want to draw two cards, obviously. Another go cannon for later. So we're going to place two of those. We're going to waste the die brave here. And then we're going to try to draw two cards in this one turn. So hopefully we don't draw a bunch of triggers. Oh, I might not draw two cards now because of that damn trigger. Let's see what happens. All right, we got a die dragon, which is positive because that's not a trigger. Come on, trick. Oh, my God, you got to be kidding me. That's a big rip. That's a big rip. This dude has legit sack defense triggers. Very, very unironic. Very unironically right now. Very unironic. Um, this just means I'm about to hit a trick sack, so if he gives me break ride, uh, will he regret it? Uh, very much so, yes, he will. Because I will go for crit, doesn't matter about the intercept game. I can for crit him for game if it has to come down to it, but I wouldn't want to do that just yet since I still have my die magnum to keep him at, like, a ragey distance. Because technically I have a pre-ragey right now once he gives me this break ride. Alright, I think that's going to draw another draw trigger figured oh um, i figured that out a long time ago um yeah another draw trigger amazing so i got knocked out two pgs now so i can kill him on the next turn with a three crit that's what i'm gonna do for the next turn so hopefully i can pull that off because i'm gonna ride diusha then possibly prep a three crit play lots of triggers in the deck there should be a possibility of hitting it so let's go. Oh my god, terrible. Okay, just ignore it. Just ignore it. We go, Dayusha. Alright, pull that off. Now we're going to play off, play this off like a two crit ragey play. So on and so forth. So put that die dragon there. Place that there. Battle. And this will give me like three crits. Um, I do. I am hoping to knock out two PGs if he is giving me this type of again another draw trigger. My God, you gotta be kidding me with that crap, man! All right, so we knocked out the first two PGs, which is great. Oh, thank God for that draw sack, man. Oh, he didn't have jack crap. Okay. All right, guys, I'm gonna restart the stream. I definitely wanted to catch all the hype in this match. Oh, he's out of heels. Let's go. Damn, that was good. All right, guys, I'm going to just restart. We're going to keep this match in the video, so give me a sec. So welcome back, guys. Really sorry about the lag in the first match, but I couldn't miss a beat because we were already, like, steps into that match, so we couldn't really turn it off to be like, oh, let's just finish it. I mean, we'll show you what we show you, and then we'll get our frames back. All right, welcome to the mirror match. And obviously, if you know me, I hate mirrors. But it depends on how he has his deck set up for the mirror at the end of the day. Decent hand, almost close to looking like our old hand. And we got Die Kaiser, so looking good so far. We'll play it out. I sometimes have to think um, for Die Kaiser, there's like certain things you have to keep in mind in the mirror match. Like, do you just go turbo crit just, and just pray he doesn't hit a trigger? Or you, it's kind of like it's always up in the air for those types of matches, those types of gameplays. I'm going to have to save that Dayusha. Uh, it depends who gives the break ride as well. That's also a positive. Ooh, okay, I can use that. Go cannon, Dayusha. Now, man, I gotta be honest with you. In this match, I'm like really, really thinking about Dayusha. Like early Dayusha right now with a plus two. A plus two draw, actually. Because I'll use go cannon. So I might not even... 
I actually might not even ride Dikeyser yet because honestly, it doesn't ask for it yet. And I'm losing a lot of my triggers already. Three, six, eight cards in hand. Okay. Let's try to lower that. Lower expectations. So we could hit the first card right now. Let's put a go cannon out. Oh, I screwed up that column. Let's go try to push him to like uh, three. Oh, but if I push him to three, then that means I don't get to pull off my uh, die brave combo. That means I would have to wait. So I probably won't even die brave it, but I'll knock out the first PG. If he rides Die Kaiser right now, then I will go for the three crit play just to knock out the first PG. Ride Die Kaiser, draw a different G3, and then go for game from there. Little positives here and there that are going to benefit you at the end of the match. All right, going Die Kaiser. That is fine. That is absolutely fine because, like I said, I'm just going to go the other route with this match because, honestly, I think if I turbo crit him back with three crits with the Go Cannons, um, I'll be good to go. As long as he doesn't heal, we got ourselves a game. Alrighty, so far so good. So many Mikas. So we're going to go cannon this. We're going to pop this. And we're going to draw a card with that. So we'll sing with this. Draw a card. Oh my god, the frames came back. Crap. Why is this always happening during matches? Oh, I drew another freaking Dayusha. That's just peachy. Again, it's doing it. I don't know why it's doing that in this freaking video. I'm just trying to keep it real with Daikai's Dayusha. And I healed again. Woohoo. Wow, I won! Never mind. I am now officially dead. Well, no, he has to get four crit, but I think he can manage four crit if he actually has go cannon. If he has go cannon, he has four crits. Or he has that, he has... I guess, I don't know. This is debatable. Sorry about the lag in that match. I am so sorry. I'm going to reset it after this one. Again, I'm sorry about all the resets. But these matches have been too spicy to drop. So he just got a 6 damage heal, so that's not good. So he's going 3 crit. Couple die dragons. So let's see what we can get here. Obviously I really need to crit him here. Okay, he doesn't have like PG, so I definitely need a crit. Oh my god. For some reason, I want that to Oh, okay, I got go cannon. Sweet. Um I think I should just go cannon and call it. Or ride reverse and then, you know. I could do either or, I guess, but, um, because I get the crit, but I'm not going to have anything else to make it happen. Well, in the end, I need a crit, so. In the end, it's, a, it's crit time. Yeah, it's a, it's a crit in time. So we got reverse Dayusha out. I only won like one reverse Dayusha because of teching. If he drew his PG, I'm actually kind of cucked here. But we'll see how that goes. I actually need another PG, but... There we go. Smack him with the reverse Dayusha 2 crit. There we go. Solid game there, guys. Solid game. Another game. 
Sorry, there's a little lag frame in that one. I'm going to restart again. Uh, if it continues, I get... Oh, it's continuing. Never mind. I'm going to restart. going to restart. One sec. One sec. All right, guys. That other Daisha match was really good there. So, we got two good games. Link Joker sacking, but still a loss. Thank God. Uh, Daisha survive. Daikaiser surviving. Yikes. So, we got a lot of good close call matches in there. So, we are fighting Kagero here. So, let's get our Daisha going and our break right started. But, obviously, Kagero's will always have two PGs. I mean, don't ever beat yourself up about that. All right, we are going turn two here, so let's pray for some magic. But that depends if he gives us break, right? If he has the two PGs, he's going to have the two PGs. The max I'm trying to do in a match like this is to smack the two PGs with Dayusha and then finish up with the finishing blow of another three crit if it comes down to it. I hate losing some Go Cannon. But I am going to need all the trigger layout for this match for sure. Just to beat the Kagro player, I'm going to need a couple cards. Number one, I'm going to need definitely some Go Cannons for later, just to maintain a three crit base. Um, if I can do that, then we're always going to be good to go. So, oh, damn, that's early PG smacking. Okay. I can smack that PG pretty early if I want to, which I might. I'm, I'm still waiting on this dude, actually, to give me some damage. Alright, he's going for, I think, Persona Blast? Yeah, he's going for the Persona Blast combo. That's a lot of intercepts, actually. If he's going to give me that much damage, that's fine. I guess if he pushes me faster, I think he won't really worry about uh, hitting me with that 2 crit. But that's actually fine due to the fact that now that he gave me 2 cards... Oh, man. <laughs> that's a big ripperoni pepperoni there, because I definitely now need a Go Cannon in order to get some more plussing involved uh, with the deck. So let's get Mika in there. Swing, swing, swing. He's going to give me four anyways, apparently, so. Damn, too many die braves. Damn. I have all this, but no superior... And this is why there's going to be lots of separate builds I'm posting on this channel. This being one of them, and the other one being the other way around, so on and so forth. Okay, I think he's very, very limited on cards right now. He has a draw trigger. Yikes. All right, so that's good. Less PGs to worry about there. It's a draw trigger. Right back. Yes! More PG support. Awesome. So I don't want to heal because I'm in a good position right now. Only has two cards in hand, so... Again, I'd rather not heal. I'd rather get him into, like, damage cut. Because if I heal, this goes straight, like, south real quick. And then I'm trying to bank on a trigger to end the man's life. Of course he got a draw trigger into a draw trigger. What else is news? What else is news? So now I gotta smack this dude with a nice three critter. And then if that goes through... We can win this match. Oh, he's got Novell. Hello. So no six damage heal, apparently. Okay, he only has one PG in his hand. Okay, he's going all out. Okay. Gets another draw trigger. Really? Well, at least he doesn't heal. But still, sacking? Really? This comes down to me hitting a trigger now. Yikes, I hate when it comes down to that. But I'm glad I didn't see a trigger there, which means there is a trigger coming up for final turn. And that's what we're going to use as our falder. Fodder. Falter. You know what I mean. Fodder. Falter. Whatever the word is. All right, here we go. Big three crit finish, boys. Let's hit that draw sack and win this game, hopefully. We'll see. Draw sack for game. At all. Oh, man. Should I even leave him an 11K? It's a good question. Or should I just go all out here and just try to make sure he doesn't get a 6 damage heal? Well, if I lose, it's because I went this route. Please, a trigger. Please, a trigger. Please, a trigger. Please. 
Yes, baby! Yes! Oh my god, yes! Oh, he topped that tip, motherfucker! Oh, less cards. And now I just smack him with the two crit again. That's fine. He top decked that? Really? He heal. Oh my god, this game is bullshit. I swear. Stop letting him win. Please. Driving me nuts. I like how he top decks a PG for game. Like, really? God, you know what I really need right now? Like, really, really need? I'm gonna need, like, a Die Lander, I think. Oh, boy. I hate games like this. Actually, no, this is good. Never mind. I just, I just needed a booster. I'm stupid. Okay, there we go. Bam. And bam. That's 2300. Perfect. Let's go for game. Do I gamble his 6 damage heal? Do I gamble it? Ay. Tough call. All or nothing. All or nothing. That's all I can say. All or nothing here. I healed again. But I don't know if it's going to be enough. All or nothing attack. Damn it, I could have gambled. I could have gambled. Shit. <laughs> Three straight games, boys. Quick video on Die Kaiser. So we got our three matches in. That's good enough. Let's go over it. Three straight wins. I'm not three straight. I'm good to go. Let's talk. All right, let's talk about my first build that I made for the game. And I'm sorry if I made you cringe at the start of this video, but I got dared by my homies, so I did it. All right. So with Die Kaiser finally out in the world of Vanguard Zero, things are looking up. You can have one PG all you want. But at the end of the day, if you get the trigger with Dai Kaiser, let's just say GG's from there, and then you have to rely on a 6 damage heal. So again, reasons I've always been a DP main is just breaking through guard. I'm tired of you blocking me. I'm going to destroy you with my fist in your face. And that's the beauty of Dai Kaiser. That's what he brings to this game. The one reverse Daiusha tech's always nice, because if you do draw this and they're at 5th damage, and hypothetically speaking, they have intercepts, uh, you can lock two back rows, and then if you have your die dragons, those are two 12Ks that don't need a booster. So that's why it's very important to run die dragon in this build, so you can do proper combo editing. And that's what you really want to do. Go Cannon is the only way to put Die Brave into the soul, but if you ride Die Brave at the start of the game, you can definitely draw a card at the end of the day. Die Magnum has some worth with this deck in particular, and as you can tell, I was going to go Die Magnum again with Dayusha and the power of Dayusha and the power of three crits with uh go cannon because that's the beauty of just having this in the back it's for Dayusha at the end of the day you can use it for this but if you get, if you already draw this you're kind of good to go on the first part of this whole deck profile you're good to go for a lot of your combos and you know what that's the beauty of it that's why we run three of these it's four thousand to a unit so if you couldn't get a booster and you need it it could benefit you uh this just helps you deny break ride this helps you get add cards to the soul that you need to perform proper etiquette combos so on and so forth go cannon became a real staple for me at the end of the day because if i keep making my units three crit ragey it's always nice to play in a deck like this so with diusha ultimate is the form for this deck for my this is for my first build ultimate was obviously the unit because it's a three crit beat stick once you ride then he becomes two crit, and then you can keep denying your opponent break ride with go cannon. So again, even if you don't hit a trigger, keep denying them break ride, and then they don't get to pull off any of their combos because you're denying break ride. And if their set game gets whack, so on and so forth. That's the beauty of smacking with Dayushas, with the Dayushas, the crits. You get crits already with this, and if this is in the soul with the die hard play, kind of, if you didn't draw any die Kaisers. This is the only reason why you would play Die Magnum is with Die Heart in case you didn't draw Die Kaiser and you drew a different G3. You have your break right kind of prepped. Don't waste triggers from your deck. I noticed some people do that for some reason. It's don't just stop. You don't need to. If you have Die Kaiser in your hand, but it's an 11k shield. I don't think you need an 11k shield. I think you need the triggers in the deck more than you need that shield right now, sir. And the draw trigger could possibly draw you a PG. So cut the crap on that. Please and thank you. 
I'm just saying. Also, two Mikas, and I only have two SP Mikas, so that's nice. It fit the deck well. Um, that's where all the CB comes from for this, since we're not really working with too much of it. Uh, yeah, with this and that, I mean, you can possibly draw three cards, two cards, depending on how much CB you have for the drawing, and you'll be good to go. So that concludes part one of your DP special, guys. Hopefully it won't be like this for the rest, but all my matches were too good not to have recorded. Even with the drop frame, you still see all the attacks go through and the commentating, so you know what's coming in the future when watching the actual video. So thanks for watching, guys, for your part one. Stay tuned for part two later in the day, which will be Zale. Peace out, homies.